eventful game, roller coaster of emotions. Um, sum up yours if you can, please, mm. Kieran. Yeah, it was an incredible game. Um, look, it's it's obviously a mixture of great pride in the performance um, on an individual level, on a team level. Uh, the quality, the resilience that we've shown through a really challenging week uh, led to, you know, so many good things in the performance. And three goals away from home and could have had a couple more. But of course, it's, it's uh, you know, extreme disappointment, devastation about the the late goal that uh, you know means that we don't get any points for our efforts but um, look we always try and take the positive of things and I think you know we showed so many things today that we're on the right track that to be honest we're back on the right track for us we showed our, our real identity as a team from a mental point of view and from a from a tactical point of view and I think it was although we didn't get any points to show for it I think it was a real step in the right direction that if we show those things on a consistent basis we'll be competitive in the majority of the games and we'll have a chance to pick up points. You mentioned the challenging week. You, you alluded to the fact that there were some injury doubts going into this one. You, you kept in your club record signing absence today. Can you talk us through the, the players that were unavailable and why? Yeah, well, obviously, apart from the, you know, Axel and, and Jacob and the ones Massimo who have been missing over the last few weeks, Ben... Um, yeah, Sammy picked up a hamstring injury in the Everton game that he managed to finish the game with, but as a hamstring strain, so wasn't available. Um, Jack Taylor would have came in for Sammy and, and that would have been the plan during the week because Jens hasn't trained enough with the group yet. Um, Jack Taylor's picked up a, an injury at the back end of the training week, which is very disappointing for him and for us. Um, I thought Jens was, was outstanding, I have to say. He's, he's barely trained since the... Injury picked up in the Southampton game and, you know, ideally wouldn't have been coming in to start today and certainly wouldn't have played as long as he did, but he really pushed through for the team and it was an incredible effort. Um, Omari. Omari. Omari was, was due to start the game and was sick uh, in the early hours and through the morning, so it was another late change. So, yeah, there's been a lot of disruption. Um, and I think that makes me even more proud of, of the performance and the way the individuals came in and the, the mentality we showed as a team. Some of the key incidents in, in the game, um, the penalty, <coughs> any, any complaints over that one? I really, don't, I really don't want to talk about the decisions, to be honest. I talked about them last week. I think it's a marginal decision. It's another marginal decision that VAR gets. In the, in the middle of, I could say that I thought the contact started outside. Somebody else could say that the contact continued inside. I could say that um, I think the player was probably going down from the first contact, but that's the point. Um, I think it would take away from, from an outstanding game, and I can only trust that we'll get our balance of decisions over the season. Um, I've not seen that one back, so I don't know whether he's got a touch on the ball or not. I think if he hasn't got a touch on the ball, Probably can't be too many complaints. If he has got a touch on the ball, it's probably not a yellow card. So it looked pretty close at the time. Um, again, our focus needs to be on the fact we need to defend both situations better in the first place. And Calvin, what are the stories about Calvin not sending him back in January? Sending him back in January, that kind of thing? Yeah, what can I say on that? Proper, proper nonsense. And I learned quite a while ago in football that you can write something online and it circulates and picks picked up by a lot of different media outlets and then it becomes a story. Um, it's absolute nonsense for no conversations of the like and I think it's a real, real shame. It's going to go down the front here. Thank you. Um, you tune them up and you try to take a chance to make it three. Mm. Uh, do you feel that was a popular turning point? Or three, like, it was a big moment, there's no doubt about it. Um, 2-0 up away from home is never a safe result, to be honest. Of course, we didn't want the goals to come as quick as what they did, but 2-0 up away from home, especially against Brentford, who can sort of attack in waves when they get momentum, um, is never a safe result. 3-0 is, is a lot harder to come back from. So, yeah, it was a big moment, but it's a good save from the keeper. Really a well-executed press from us. Um, good save from the goalkeeper. and um, It is what it is. Sammy took his, his first goal absolutely brilliantly. So, uh, yeah, it was probably a big moment in the game. I guess at 44 minutes, you think you need to say one thing at half time and then 
Thing yeah, I know we've said it plenty of times, but that's that's the level that we need to improve. You know, we were so good for so much of the first half in our organisation. We limited Brentford to so little. We have created so many chances at home and we limited them to so little in the first half. But it's probably maybe the first couple of moments where we just dropped our intensity a little bit. You know, we're one or two off in some of, you know, one or two yards off in our individual actions. And they carved through the pitch really, really well and executed brilliantly. And our recovery runs after they broke the initial pressure weren't good enough. And we end up, you know, just being half a yard away from being there to make the, the interception at the end. So those half a yards and those differences, no margins, that's what we have to keep working at.